This message is for Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. Sun, Moon, and Rising is a general message, so it may apply to you. Um, if it doesn't, then you want to check out your Moon and Rising. So, the first two cards I got was the Fish in Balance and the Wolf out of Balance. The Fish is a lot about adapting to change. They go with the flow, they go in the current, they let they move, 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 and they just keep changing and moving and um, change of sceneries, change of everything. Change is important right now for you. And what's out of balance is the wolf. That is um, being stubborn, stubborn letting things go from the past, um, getting kind of stubborn with the other the way other people think, and not understanding why they aren't thinking the same way, doing the same things as you. And I think right now it's time to change that mindset and move into better waters. The past card I got was the Seven of Swords with the Eight of Swords. So this was you were blinded to some sort of deception, some sort of backstabbing, some sort of lying, anything like that. You were de you were decepted and you were blind to it. You didn't you didn't really see what was going on. And I also got the nine of wands with the hanged man. So that is a lot about keep being prepared for a fight, determined for anything, any uh, any situation to come arise. Um, in this situation, I feel like you were overprepared. You were overprepared. You knew something was going to happen. And I think, um, I think you had that intuition. I keep seeing the moon all through this. And I think you had that intuition, but you didn't really listen to it um, because you were kind of blinded by the situation. Um, and right now you're kind of stuck in a position where you have to constantly be, well, in the past you were stuck in this position where you had to constantly be prepared. You weren't really taking any action. You were just letting things happen, letting things go the way they need to, but you weren't, you realized the deceptive behaviors and you saw it and I think um, it made you even more prepared made you even more prepared for any new situations that would come and you're holding on to this really tight. You were kind of lost, as you can see, she's lost with the deception and the lies and the, and you know, the dishonesty and manipulation. You were, you were lost in it. You didn't know that it was really happening to you, but it was. And I think your gut really told you to to follow that and um, now what I got for your present was the page of Pentacles with the three of Pentacles page of Pentacles is a lot about somebody that's learning to be patient with new experiences that happen in their life learning to grow that stability and um, you know hold on to things that are worth holding on to and letting go of things that aren't worth holding on to. The three of pentacles is it, you were really working hard towards that stability. Maybe you are working with a few people in your home towards a more stable home. Maybe you are working with, you know, coworkers or employees with, <clears throat> you know, um, really focusing on that stability and making things better for yourself. You're working hard and I think others were starting to see it though, even though you were trying to be patient, you were disappointed. You were disappointed in your home life, in your job life, in, in anything that you normally would feel stable in and comfortable and you were just disappointed by it. Um, and this could happen soon or you could just right now be disappointed and it, I think the the lie the lie home life was so unstable that you were starting to feel like you needed to hide away from everything you needed to just get away and not be there and um, especially get away from whatever this situation is I think your guards up so much from from being blinded and then all of a sudden it's showing up 
you know, you were blinded by this deception and then all of a sudden you saw it and, and you're like, no, mm -mm. and then I also got the death card with the ace of swords. Death card is getting rid of toxic people, getting rid of toxic mindsets, getting rid of any sort of um, situation in your life that serves you no more purpose. You're ready to cut it out. You're ready to get clarity on the situation and see exactly what it is. And I don't think um, you're really liking what you see right now. I think right now you you just you just want something so stable, but there's something preventing that from happening. And um, you could be just having a really bad mindset on things uh, because of your past with deception. And it's not letting things become stable in your life. The obstacles that I got was the Six of Wands and the King of Pentacles. So I feel like you are not being recognized. I feel like if, <clears throat> excuse me, if you are trying to speak up and say something, and finally do something about this and just letting things change and letting things go um you're not being recognized and that's really bothering you like it's like the situation is getting kind of brushed under the rug and that's really bothering you uh it seems like um there is maybe an older person that could be this could be a father this could be just an older person but in the obstacle position, this would tell me it's an older person, but actually they may be older, but they're not as mature. Um, and they're trying to offer some sort of recognition, but it's not enough for you. You know, I think you're really tired of um, of the anxiety of what's going to happen next with this, this person or what's going to happen next in this situation. You're having so much anxiety about it. And especially with friends and stuff. I see like, you know, a bunch of people together and they're having anxiety about <laughs> it's the one one person that could be a situation in this or they're just having anxiety about making up with this person, reconciling with this person, getting back into that mo friendly mode with them. They're having anxiety about it because I think they may have deceived you in the past, this person or or there was a situation that was deceiving you in the past and now it's preventing you from making new friends. It's preventing you from going out and doing new things because this anxiety and you're not really recognize, getting recognized by whatever the root of the problem is. It's, it's, it's a problem. And I think you're so tired of waiting and you're having a trouble because you keep waiting for things to change. You keep waiting for that recognition. You keep waiting for, you know, there to be peace of mind, but it's just waiting, waiting, waiting. That's all you can do. And I think that you're having a hard time walking away. Like you're waiting, but you want to walk away, but you're having a hard time doing that. And there's something that you're holding on to with this situation that I think you just need to let go. And that I think that will make you, force you to make the best decisions, letting go of it. This is a card of abandonment. So leaving that situation, you need to, you know, and you're having issues with that. You're back and forth. You're waiting for things to change, but you're like, I'm also leaving. Like, bye, I'm not going through this. I'm not even being recognized for the stuff that I do or the stuff, or, no one's recognizing the stuff that's happening and I think that's that's a big problem for you um what would help is the star with the six of pentacles the star is about having hope you know be having wishful thinking so I think if you are to you know let your brain just change the way it's thinking and let go of the old the old stuff that happened I think it would bring a lot more hope into your life and, and inspiration and that's what it wants you to focus on and I think what would help too is being well what I get from this is giving your time to the right people I think there's people to give your time to and there's people that not to give your time to and I think you learned from the past from that deception in the past that some people are not worth it, especially if there's somebody that's coming back in your life or somebody that's been in your life and there's always going back and forth. Yes, no, yes, no. Mm -mm. No, you, you need to be, you need to give your time to the people that are worth your time. 
not the people that are, you know, they're exhausting you. I see like he's holding all these behind him right here and he's offering one, but that's good because these are all your, all, this is all your energy. That's what I'm seeing right here. This is all your energy here and you need to give your energy to the right people. And I think you know who the right people are. And I think, you know, following that gut feeling on, on that, I think thinking about the experiences you've learned too will help you a lot, uh, especially with this deception. I think if this is a person, they just constantly dis have deceived you and or been manipulative or toxic to you and lied to you. And I think you, you're starting to see the, the, the gist of what's going on. Definitely. Um, another thing that's going to help you is focusing not so much on your loss. I think focusing more on what you do have than what you lost. Um, being, you know, looking at the brighter side of things that goes back to the, um, star card as well. Looking at the better side of things. Um, also just not letting yourself get too content in this situation because I think that you need to leave it and let it go or not get too content in your psyche about the way you think about things and I think it's time to let that go and that goes back to the temperance that also came out that is balancing those emotions inside of you that's healing that's that's healing the situation and just letting it go balancing out, cooling yourself down when you are too angry, taking time for yourself, doing whatever you need to do to get away from the situation will help you. Now, what I see for your possible outcome is the fool, okay, and the sun. This is beautiful. This is, you know, new beginnings, new cycles, new things that are coming into your life. This is good. This is what needs to happen. And I think this is kind of what the situation is leading to. It's just whether if you want to, you know, let go of, of this situation or not. I think there's a battle right now in your mind if you want to let go or if you want to stay. And that, you know, and I think honestly, new beginnings is what's going to bring you happiness. So whatever that means, a new home life, new person in your life, new, just new things in your life is what's going to bring you happiness. And that's important to focus on. And, uh, yeah, this could be new home life. <laughs> exactly. And this came out as well in the possible outcome. So definitely if you're, if you're in a bad situation in your home, it is time to start new. And that could be just new new anything I mean this could even be a job too if you're having a hard time at your job if you're not feeling great about your job new new job it's 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 in the cards you know I think it's very important for you to hear I also got you know the um you may have to have some sort of uncomfortable conversation that may be kind of conflicting and may put you at crossroads but I think Following that intuition and that gut feeling is what's going to help. And that's where you kind of are heading. You are heading, you are, you know, you're feeling very discontent about the situation. But I think eventually you become aware of what's good for you and what's not. You let go of old mindsets. You let go of old people. You let go of all that stuff because there's no reason to put yourself through this. Um, so, yeah. And then I got the tower card under the deck, which is about uh, sudden change. So I really think, and you know, mental conflict. So this is something that you don't need to wait around for. You definitely don't need to wait around for this. This is three of wands. This is waiting. This is, you know, it's time to be free from these anxieties. It's time to, you know, definitely get moving with things like the fish does. Okay, the cards that I'm seeing in here are Leo... I'm seeing Sagittarius, I'm seeing Virgo, I'm seeing Libra, I'm seeing um, Cancer, mm -hmm. Aries, mm -hmm. yeah, all right, well, you guys have a good night, and I hope it helped you.